guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is week seven of the weekly melting wax low buy collab challenge that I created, and this week is Valentine's Day week. So, for my challenge to all of you this week for Valentine's Day is to melt your red, white, or pink wax. So, I have a basket here full of red, white, and pink wax. I also picked scents that were fitting for Valentine's Day or fitting for winter because it is still winter and I wanted to, you know, get a nice variety here and really pick my basket with intention. And I say that because I feel like some things I was like, mm, okay, great, like this too. Like what am I going to melt this with or why am I going to melt that this week instead of just picking just the colors. I actually thought I put a lot of intention behind the basket, and I'm really, really excited to share this with you. So without further ado, let's dive into my basket. Right from the top, I have three clamshells from K's, and this first one is Peppermint Stick. The next one is Pink Marshmallow World, which is Peppermint Stick, Pink Sugar, and Marshmallow. And then the last one is Peppermint Marshmallow. I picked these three to put in my warmers. I have eight warmers. So I figured one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then my bigger warmers, I'll use three cubes just to use them up. And they're all very similar, like pepperminty, vanilla-y, marshmallow-y type of blends. So I figured melting those three together. I'm also not a huge fan of K's. I've come to realize that it's, it's nothing personal. I just... The wax is boring. I don't like the tons of mica in it. It's a pain to clean out of the warmers, and yeah, just not really a fan. So I want to use those up. From Destination Wax, I picked out a clam in what winter linen, and it's white. So we have a crisp laundry scent, fresh linen, bergamot, um, Egyptian jasmine, white flowers, sandalwood, musk, and cashmere. And this is just a very clean, light laundry scent. So I figured this will be perfect in my bathroom for like two days. Because I'll do like two in one warmer and one in the other in my bathroom. I have two warmers in there. Next I picked up Strawberry Crumble. And this is strawberries and acai berries baked in sugar with a light topping of sugar cookie crumble. Now, I'm actually going to do something that I never do. I'm going to show you these scents. So this strawberry crumble, and from L3 I have a strawberry pound cake, and this is two bunts. So again, I told you I have eight warmers in my main space, so I'll cut each bunt into fours. And Miss Lori Brown, I'm using your little tip, and I'm actually going to mix some scoops with my regular wax, because I feel like cutting these into fours isn't enough wax to fill up my warmer dishes. So I'm going to mix in some scoop to hopefully be able to pop them in the freezer and for them to pop out. going to do a little experiment. I hope it works that way. And the scoop that I picked is from L3. And this is strawberry pound cake, vanilla cookies, vanilla butter fudge, and vanilla bean noel. And this is just a very... Honestly, I don't pick up much of the strawberry pound cake, which is why I'm also excited to blend in some strawberry pound cake with it. I really get the vanilla cookies and the vanilla butter fudge. It just smells like a very, like, rich, fudgy butter cookie. And this is from June 5th, so I definitely want to use it up. I don't want to sit on my L3 for too long. I picked from Destination Wax chocolate-covered strawberries. This may be my Valentine's Day melt, because I do work that day. So I will probably, I have three tea light warmers, so I might do two cubes in each tea light warmer for when I get home from work in the evening. And this is dark chocolate and fresh strawberries. It smells so good. Are they really going to do construction outside now? Lovely. Anyway, yeah, this smells just like a rich chocolate-covered strawberry. The dark chocolate does add a little bit of dimension to it. So excited to melt through that. As far as Scentsy goes, I picked out two cubes or two clamps in Petal Pals, which was the Valentine's Day collection last year. Not really... It, it smells like a lush scent, and I can't pinpoint it. It smells like a lush Valentine's Day bath bomb. Like, it's like a fruity, 
slightly floral powdery that bath bomb smell so I picked up two clams that'll be one day of melting and then I also picked up I only have one cube or one clam in best berry also from that Valentine's Day collection just like a basic berry scent so I'll probably mix this in the warmers with these guys next oh I picked out I think it's called Humperdink from L3, H-U-M-P-R-D-I-N-C-K, not really sure. And this is Lord of Misrule and Vanilla Bean Noel. So there's four fluted tarts. I'll cut each fluted tart in half and pop them in my warmers. I love this scent. This is just like Lord of Misrule from Lush, which is black pepper, patchouli, and vanilla. And the Vanilla Bean Noel just adds another hint of vanilla. So super excited for that one. Let's do more L3. I have a two-pack of Fluid Tarts in Saturday morning cartoons. I'm actually off of work on Sunday when the basket starts. And I have on my nightstand by my bed, I have two warmers on each side. They're hot plates. So I feel like, or one on each side. So I feel like I'll do one on each on Sunday morning as I'm watching TV and just relaxing since I am off of work and off to go anywhere um, until later in the evening. Um... So yeah, I'm excited to do this. This is, it says, this scent is made up of a combination of all our favorite cereals and milk. And I've grown to know that, like, I don't love cereal scents. They're just, I don't know, I was talking to Lexi the other day, and it kind of reminds me, like, when I look at a scent list and I see, like, cereals listed as a note, I'm okay, kind of just like, okay, next. Like, I, it just, I don't gravitate towards them. So, and this arrived on June 10th, so I want to definitely use this up. Um, it'll be nice when I have it, though. Continuing with the L3, I have two puppy packs. Now, see, this puppy pack is like normal shapes, and this one is a ton of teensy-weensy little shapes. So this is these are both in Sugared Apple, which is a Yankee Candle type. I actually love this scent. It is so good. It is like a very light apple with a hint of, like, crystallized sugar. It's really yummy. So... I'm going to be melting that. I picked a lot of wax this time. From Teddy Bees, I have a souffle in Winterfell, and I'm hoping, because they always say less is more with Teddy Bees, to cut this into eight pieces and pop them in my warmers. And this is Winterfell, Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, White Birch, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. And it is white, so that's why I picked that for the basket. Yeah, it's a very, I love this scent. I have, I ordered it in the loaf during the last RTS, so I want to use up the souffle. It is, it's very icy Palo Santo. You definitely pick up on Palo Santo, but the white birch comes out really strong. So I'm excited to melt through that. The theme is to melt red, white, and pink wax, right? I picked out Cindy Lou Who from Zape. It's perfect. It literally is pink, red, and white. And it's peppermint, vanilla bean, and pink sugar crystals. And this, yeah, it just smells like every other pink sugar blend, like pink sugar and peppermint blend. So I'm going to melt through this, but I knew this won't be enough for all eight of my warmers. So I also picked out from a rainbow melt. This is spearmint, peppermint, and pink sugar. So just that added spearmint. I'm trying to use through my rainbow melts. I placed one mystery box order, and once was enough. Um, I just don't like the way Crystal runs the company. So I don't support rainbow melts. So I am going to melt through this and call it a day. So that is that one. I have another one from Rainbow Melts. This is Strawberry Pound Cake and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I might blend this with the Strawberry Pound Cake um, scoop, just depending on, because I only have like one owl, and that's another problem. She only really offers shapes, like little ones like this, in a mystery. So I couldn't even order two of them to know that I'll have enough shapes, because they might not even be the same mystery. She doesn't offer big sizes, or if she does, she cancels the RTSs, because something always comes up. The power goes out, or family emergency, or there's no labels, or there's no ink, or there's no packing tape, or there's always an excuse as to why she can't get your orders out that you paid for. So, that instantly turns me off. That's why I don't order from Britta's either. So, this is Stripe Pound Cake, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Use that up. I have two more puppy packs 
from L3. I don't like puppy packs. Trying to use them up. This one is So Fetch, which is strawberry pound cake. Today is October 3rd. Today is October 3rd. I feel like I've talked about it a million times. It's Palo Santo, toasted marshmallow, and roller sugar cookie. Lost Cherry Tom Ford type. This is the dupe for the Tom Ford Cherry Perfume. Don't love cherry, but I really like that. Fresh Pick Strawberry Island Margarita Bum Bum, or Boom Boom, from L3. This, there's just little shapes. I might do this in my bathroom um, on one of the days, or like two days, just because I don't have enough to blend with this. So, use it up in my bathroom. It's nice, it's very fruity strawberry. I, fit, I have from Super Tarts, I have two scent shots from the Jaws collection. Amity Island, and this is a red wax. And this is Jaws mixed with Rosemary Mint. Love Jaws, one of my favorite blends. Wait till you see my Super Tarts haul coming up this week. I definitely got some Jaws Bam Bags from Wax Wednesday. And then Chrissy's Remains, which is pink. And this one is Jaws with Spun Sugar, or like cotton candy. So a little bit more sweet. And these scent shots, Super Tarts Wax is so strong. These um, scent shots will be great in the bathroom. Then... Last but not least, well, almost last but not least, I have two clams from Super Tarts. The first is Pond, and this is, um, this is Jaws with Laundry. Yeah, I like it. I definitely pick up on the laundry mixed with it, which sometimes it's hard to pick up the blends that are mixed with Jaws. And then I picked up Alfie from the Christmas collection. It's red. Marshmallow, candy cane, and Christmas cookies. I feel like this might be one that I blend with the Peppermint Days. This came super cracked, so also want to use it up for that reason. And then I hope to get through these. Don't know if I will. It's leftover carryovers from Loaf Week, White Elephant Exchange from L3, and Strawberry Jam Fresh Pick Strawberries. I did not get through these loaves that week, so I'm hoping to get through them this week. They're white, and they go with the other scents that I pulled. That was my super quick haul, or um, haul, uh, melting basket. Let me know if you're participating. What did you pick for your Valentine's Day week basket? Excited to watch everybody's videos today on my day off. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below so you're alerted every time I upload a video. You matter, and I love you all so much. Bye.